Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be configuring uh, the VTY lines on the router using uh, just a standard uh, ACL. So we're just going to be filtering um, filtering subnets via using standard ACLs um, implemented on the uh, VTY lines, our virtual uh, terminal lines on the on the router. Uh, what I have here is Putty Connection Manager, um, as requested from one of uh, one of the subscribers to the uh, channel. Uh, they asked why I don't why I don't use uh, you know Putty and the Putty Connection Manager. So you know I really don't have I really didn't have a reason why I didn't use it. So um, I do a lot of going uh, you know back and forth bet between screens. So. Uh, what I did was I set up Putty Connection Manager, and it really helped save a lot of time. Uh, you know, in between, you know, uh, screens and all that. I don't have to go in between the windows and all that anymore. So anyway, a uh, really cool function. You can Google that. You know, just Google uh, GNS3 and Putty, and you'll have some uh, stuff that comes up right there at the beginning on how to implement that. Uh, but in this video, we're going to be configuring again. We're going to be configuring uh, access control list to uh, control, you know, our uh, VTY lines on our router. So what I'm going to do here, as you can see, I've got this simple network here. Router zero, I have the 10 and the 20 loopback interfaces. 10 for loopback zero, 20 for loopback one. Then I have the connection between them, which is on the 172.16 network, and then I have uh, loopback zero on router one which is on the uh, one network. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is go into the routers now and just configure them real fast. Uh, right now I'm on router zero. Give me the host name. And uh, right away, I'm just going to set the timeout. So my session doesn't timeout. Which can uh, mess up the CPU utilization on your uh, on GNS3, and uh, configure the fast Ethernet interface 172.16.1.1 with a uh, slash 30 subnet mask, and then loopback zero is uh, 192.168.10.1. Um, Slash 24, and then interface loopback 1 is IP address of 192.168.20.1, and then what I'm going to do, I'll just run, uh, I'll just run rip, router rip version 2, no auto summary, so it becomes a classless routing protocol, and then what we'll do, we'll just advertise our networks, so 172.16. Dot zero dot zero and network one nine two one six eight ten dot zero and twenty dot zero. So show IP protocols shows us we're running rip and now we have here you can see here the uh, routing protocols rip. We have our interfaces that are running rip on uh, our networks that uh, we're routing for. The whole class B 172.16, and we, we're running uh, 102.168, 10, and the 20. Okay, so now what we need to do is. Uh, Go here to router one. Would you like to enter the in, uh, initial configuration? No. You know what we're doing. I think so. I hope so. Anyway, okay, so we're going to go. This is router one, so we're going to configure for host name router one. Line console zero. This is the console port that we're on now. We're going to set the exact timeout to nothing so that it doesn't time out on us. Uh, now we're going to go and configure fast Ethernet. 
to address 172.16. We're going to go to, uh, what was it, 1.2 slash 30. We're going to go loop back 0, do IP address 172, uh, I'm sorry, 192.168.1.0. I'm sorry, 1.1 slash 24. Now we're going to go under router rip. We're going to run version 2, so we can do clash, classless, which is no auto summary for version 2. Then under here, we're going to run uh, uh, for network 172.16.0.0. To incorporate a fast Ethernet, so router zero. I'm going to do network 192.168.1.0. Uh, now, if I do a show IP protocol, you can see here the networks I'm routing for, the interfaces on the router that are part of the RIP uh, routing protocol, and let's see here. I'm going to show IP route now. You can see that I haven't learned anything yet via RIP. Uh, let's do something real fast. I think I know why I'm doing this. Yeah, it's because my fast Ethernet, my fast Ethernet interface is not admined up, so I'm going to go on it. My fast Ethernet zero zero and do a no shut. And let me check router zero. So I have a hunch. And I did the same thing here. I didn't admin up the uh, fast Ethernet. Yep, same thing. So go under fast Ethernet port, <laughs> do no shut, and now if I do a, uh, I give it a second here. If I show IP route. I don't see any rip routes yet. So if I do a debug IP rip events, just trying to see if I can see the rip process. Okay, so here we go. So what you see here is my RIP network was converging here. Uh, you see here sending the flash update on the uh, two multicast address of dot nine two twenty four zero zero nine, which is RIP version two. Uh, basically sending out the uh, routes and uh, to our neighbor. Now, if I look at our routing table, you can see here that I learned the route via RIP from router 1. So if I try to ping it, 192.168.1.1, I'm good to go. So uh, if I go back to uh, router 